Good morning. I'm up early this morning and only Mary's up with me. Can I say good morning, Mary? Say good morning, everybody. She looks happy. I hope this is a start of a good day. So Mary, what are we making for breakfast? What are we making for breakfast? Can you say pancakes? Yeah. Um, my parents, instead of giving us an Easter basket for, or for the, gave the kids Easter baskets, um, they decided to give us, um, a Wolferman's basket as a family gift. And inside the Wolferman's basket was, um, this pancake mix. And I haven't had a chance to make it. So I think since I'm up early this morning, I'm going to make that for the kids. And also when I got up this morning, um, I see that Art got another cabinet door up. Yay! So that completes the four along the top. And I only have that big one here and that um, big one here. And I think there may be one on the side here that needs to be done. So definitely some progress, which is always very exciting. And after that step, I'm hoping he'll do the shelves because I can't do, um, I can't fully use the cabinets until I have the shelves. So I think that's the next step in the process. So it's coming. Okay, this is a very rare occurrence. The only child up with us is Mary. Say hi. <laughs> so this is almost like a breakfast date for, for the two of us. Well, actually Art and me. Um, because all the other kids are sound asleep. When you only have one kid with you, that's considered a date. <laughs> so, we're enjoying breakfast, which is the pancakes, the Canadian bacon, and a glass of milk. I'm just getting ready for um, the lady who was going to um, buy this toy here uh, on Saturday. We ended up not catching up with each other. Um, she's coming over this morning and she's gonna buy the toy so I'm just trying to get some um, straightening done and quick give the entryway a, vac a vacuum before she comes over and I also had to cancel the kids Spanish lesson because they're sick and I just I don't want their teacher to um, come and get sick so canceled that until Friday and I put Mary to bed, and I'm just getting a little bit of straightening done this morning. Lady never showed up for the toy again, but I did get most of the entryway picked up, and I'm working on the stuff upstairs, and now I'm going to have, um, I've got some fabric that I bought a couple weeks ago uh, to make a shirt for charity. I want to do some sewing with her, so I haven't had a chance to pre-wash the fabric, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. CVS this morning and I took the kids with me. Art sat in the car with them while I quick ran and I had to grab some um, prescriptions, but I ended up getting um, some new eye colors. I've never tried purple green. I'm usually a blue person, but I wanted to be bold and try something different today. Just heading out to get some flowers for my uh, deck planters. I've got these that I want to um, I want to put some flowers in. So I'm just gonna head out to the local nursery and see what I can find. You finding anything good yet? What do you think, Mary? Oh, you're just playing with your spoon. Maybe some of those purple flowers. 
Put them in here. Okay. I think that'll be good. Our way home, we finished um, purchasing the plants that I want for my baskets and probably try to get that planted tonight. So here's what I wonder. How can these greenhouses have such great success with their plants? I, I throw them in my house, I keep them in a hot area, and either they get really spindly and leggy or if I put them downstairs where it's cooler they just they just don't grow fast I don't know how the greenhouses do it because it, it looks like these plants are really little so they couldn't can't be that old of plants um, I don't know is it any of you guys know why that is is it because the amount of heat that the greenhouse has or I don't know I'm very curious if you know the answer to that can you leave a comment below because I really I'm curious of how how I can replicate that um, myself because I don't mind putting the work into growing my own plants and growing my own flowers it's just whenever I start my own plants they just never seem to get to the size that I need them to put them in the ground you sound extremely perplexed I am I am very perplexed I don't know why why or how Maybe I just need to buy a greenhouse and see if the magic's in the greenhouse. There you go. A Mother's Day present. Uh, there you go. You can buy me a greenhouse. There we go. I'm sure the kids wouldn't mind if, <laughs> if I used up the yard for a greenhouse to try this. Oh, so you, you'd let me do it if we put all the, let you guys pick all the flowers. Yeah. I don't think that would fly with the boys. <laughs> Here is my daily update of my garden. We'll start with my lettuce. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's growing ever so slightly. The radishes still look the same size, but the spinach has grown a lot. Look at all that spinach. In fact, the weather holds out today I'll probably plant some more because it's been two weeks and I try to rotate um, plant my plants uh, do succession planting here's this lettuce looking really nice and radishes maybe and then the peas which we looked at yesterday oh no the moles been here that is not a good thing you know I, I wish I loved the mole but I don't so we've got one pea there Got a pea there, got another one growing right there, got a couple back there. So it looks like there's another one. They're finally starting to come up. And this over here is my garlic. Uh, my husband ended up planting this for me because, because I was, um, I Mary was, I think, two. Ah! I almost stepped on a bunny rabbit. Here, bunny bunny. I didn't mean to scare you. You're not supposed to be in my garden. Okay, let's see if I can find the bunny rabbit. Here, bunny bunny. There he is. You're not supposed to be in here, baby. You are not supposed to belong. I'm going to have to move you, my dear. So I looked everywhere and I did find a pot that I could put the silly bunny in until I can move him out to the forest, but I can't find a lid for him. So I'm just kind of um, gently holding him here until, oh, no, 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 no bouncing, no bouncing bunny, until my husband can come home and we can go release him in the woods. Hey little bunny, you enjoy your new home? Walk in the, I think that's a cool root right there. First, I thought it was animal poo. Yeah, it's a root. Okay, Mr. Rabbit, please stay out of my garden. Yeah, my bunny. Oop, there he goes. Your new home. Enjoy your new home. Yeah, having a little late dinner tonight just we had a few errands that need to be taken care of and um, this afternoon I and I didn't video this earlier but 
Lydia was, um, she was up and she, because she was up and she couldn't find her dog dog, she couldn't sleep and because she couldn't sleep she woke up Mary and so the afternoon was kind of hairy. Couldn't find dog dog anywhere. Do our viewers know what dog dog is? Dog dog is her little pink and her little pink stuffed animal blanket lovey cuddly thing, I don't know. So we couldn't find it. I looked at the house, looked all over, couldn't find it. The kids looked and then I think it was Charity said she thought she knew where it was and it fell between the crack of her bed and the wall. So we found it and I said to Lydia, take it upstairs and put it back in your bed and don't let it come out because we don't want to lose it before bedtime. Oh, maybe five minutes went by and all of a sudden I hadn't heard from Lydia and I said to Art, where's Lydia? And nobody knew where Lydia was. And then Peter said, she's up in her bed. So I went upstairs and she took her dog dog. She crawled into bed, tucked herself in, and went to take a nap. And this was like at 5, what, 5.15? 5.30. So thus we are missing Lydia tonight at dinner. I asked her if she wanted dinner and she just shook her head and said no. So I don't know what time she's going to get up. But that's what happened this afternoon. Well, it's 10.05, and all the kids are in bed except for <laughs> one of them who's eating peanuts right now. Yeah, she uh, went to sleep, got a, too long of a nap, and anyway, so she's helping Daddy work on cabinet doors for a little while. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to put up, work on some cabinet doors. I ended up going on an EMS call tonight, so I just got home. It's... 10 10 and i'm gonna edit this video and hit the hay um lydia's still wide awake so i'm hoping she'll go to bed soon um but we'll see you tomorrow lydia what do you have dog dog is that your dog dog yeah Aww. so snuggly